This video is about finding sector area, or sometimes area of a sector is what you hear. So first let's talk about what a sector is. A sector is a part of a circle that is created when you have this central angle. Think piece of pizza. Now this is a large piece of pizza. Maybe you're hungry. That is your sector area that you can find. Whoops got old stuff there that would be our sector and we would find the area of that part so it's not like a triangle or something because it has this curve section uh, but it's only part of the circle not the whole thing and it might be the case that it's a small part of the circle my shaded area isn't keeping up I understand but picture this being shaded. It might be a little sliver of the circle, or if I take it to the extreme, look at the red part, the red arc defining this big sector here, almost the whole circle, or anything in between. And so there is a way that we can calculate the area of this sector. And as you'd probably guess, it's based on starting with area of a circle. So first, let's talk about that. The formula for area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. And so I already have my radius measurement in here. I could plug that in and I could find the whole circle. But what I need is I need to, to bring that down to just the part I'm looking at, just this sector. And so I do that the way that uh, the other video talked about finding arc length. I do the same process for area of a sector because the area of the sector is part of the area. Compared to the entire circle, which I could put a or I could put pi r squared. I'll go ahead and put the formula in. So part of the area, the shaded part, over the whole area equals part of the degrees of the circle. In other words, the arc measure over the whole circle, which is, of course, 360 degrees. And just once again, that reminder that that arc measure is a degree measure. It's the same as the central angle. So in this case, it's going to be 85. So let me go ahead and use this and plug some stuff in. Let's suppose I'm looking for the area of the sector over pi r squared. So in this case, pi times my radius is 5 squared equals on the other side, I've got my arc measure, my degrees, it's the same as the central angle, so it's 85 over my 360. And everything is a number, remember pi is a number, except the one thing that I'm looking for. In this case, it's area of a sector. In other problems, it might be something different, but you'll have one unknown, and you can cross multiply to find it. So 360 times the x. equals going the other way I'm grabbing for my calculator here 85 times the 5 squared is 2125 and then I'll just leave pi sit there for now again I didn't multiply pi in so I got it just still there um, the problem would tell me what to do with this whether it wants uh, something in an exact form if that can even be done or whether it wants approximate when I do my divided by 360 on this one 2125 divided by 360 does not turn out nice I got decimals all the way across my calculator screen so this problem would probably say something like round to the nearest tenth that's what I'm gonna do for this so these are gone Again, you would look at your problem. I always change to the approximately equal to 
uh, sign to show that I've rounded. And if I'm looking at nearest tenth, I'm going to go ahead and divide this out, but I'm also going to do times pi. And I'm using the pi key on my calculator. And I got 18.544 all the way across the screen. So to the nearest tenth, if we suppose that's what this problem would say, would be 18.5. And again, I got that because I did 2,125 divided by 360, and then I took that answer times pi, and that's what I got. Okay, So area of a sector is just part of the area, and we find out what part by setting up and solving a proportion.